Yes, man, that's the best number. Yes. Thank you, sir. So now, once being put on this escalation sheet, that department should be reaching out to you promptly. But if it has been a couple of days and you have not uh, received an update, please give us a call and we will um, be more than happy to try that department once again. Um, they're, unfortunately, they're high, their call volume is a little bit higher as they have been dealing a lot with fraudulent claims, unfortunately. Okay. Um, okay. So for that, we do ask if you could please be patient as they reach out to you. Or if you would like, we can you can call as many times as you can uh, throughout the day to see if they are accepting transfers by the time that you call. Okay. That's fine, Elena. I, I, I just I just wanted to, uh, if you could please add add to your notes one thing with, with this uh, claim, is that, um, you know, I, I was checking, the, uh, first of all, I don't even have access to the account. It's like, it, it's very restricted. But, but I opened up a, a, a letter from um, um, November 29th, a correspondence from you, um, and, and that basically it, it's it shows that you guys received my the request to to uh for the repayment because you actually have the correct banking information on there um uh, which is bank name um uh, choice financial group and, and and the bank account number ends in five seven three one so they they actually went ahead and changed the, the uh, information because they reopened it on on eleven twenty one if you see that so they changed the bank information, but they never processed the payment. So that's what's bizarre about it. It's been a year and a half. So if you could just make make them aware of that, it, 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 I'll give, of course. Okay. I will definitely input that in the notation here. Okay, and I appreciate as well that. As, of course, for them to get in contact with you as soon as possible. Now, will you like to provide an email for form of contact, or just uh, keep your telephone number? Telephone number and, and my email is uh, six days of energy number one at gmail dot com. And the number is it just the number six or spell it out? The six oh, it's it's just the number. Yes. The number six. Yes. Six days of energy at. I'm sorry. Six days of energy. Uh, and then the number one at gmail dot com. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. Sure. Six days of energy, number one at gmail.com. Correct. Um, I added the notation. Excellent. And yes, sir, you are now on the callback call back list for our program integrity to reach back out to you, sir. If it's been a couple of days and you would like an update, you are more than welcome to call this number. Okay. Um, to try and get transferred over, we wouldn't be able to re escalate it until okay. it will be information has been on the sheet for about a month per our policy but again you're always more than welcome to uh, call us back any time from now to see okay. if you can come and take and all right very well is there an escalation number or anything elena that you, did you have is like a, a number for escalation or is it just the same claim number um it, it's the same number sir okay um, that you would call no i mean I, Oh, okay, right. I'm saying for, for 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 escalating it, do you like open a ticket with a new number, right, that I can reference when I call back, or is it just the same uh, claim and ID? Just indicate that you're on the escalation sheet. We don't provide any confirmation numbers. Okay. Um, I will also notate that on the profile as well that you are on that callback list. Okay. Thank you so much, Elena. I appreciate your help. Nope, that's all. I appreciate all your help. Thank you again. All right. Thank you so much for your time. It's for calling the Department of Unemployment Assistance and you enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye.